Is there any concluding thoughts, guys? Um. Well, I have a quote. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Momentary Marriage, A Parable of Permanence by John Piper. I recommend that book. I did a marriage group on it. He said, marriage is patterned after Christ's covenant relationship to his redeemed people, the church. And therefore, the highest meaning and the most ultimate purpose of marriage is to put the covenant relationship of Christ and his church on display. That mm. is why marriage exists. If you are married, right. that is why you are married. If you hope to be, that should be your dream. Right. You know, so that's I good. Like that. Yeah. The home. Mm. Right. And spread into the church. Right. And eventually have that domino effect in the communities that we're living in. Mm. Almost like an aroma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it should come from us though. Love by example. Um, we're supposed to love our brides in such a way the husbands are supposed to love our brides in such a way that people can see Christ's love for his church mm. and the flip side of that wives we're sp- you're supposed to submit to your husbands in such a way that the world can see the loveliness of Christ in the obedience of his bride mm. um, so my question and my challenge for all of us today is does your marriage display the gospel to the world that's a good 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 question yeah this is a question that we have to ask ourselves does our marriage display the gospel to the world or even our views when it comes to marriage and all that does it display the gospel to the world